Okay. Anyone who's making a game or a video, I'm going to be very 100% serious with you right now when I say you really need to level your audio. Let's go, y'all. Oh shit, we're driving. Chat, you want to go to, you want to, go to Taco Bell? You want to get some Taco Baco? Yeah. Oh, cop. Oh, damn it. Baja Blast Gelato. I should investigate the crime scene. Uh, apparently I'm a cop. Yay. So. You want me to do Columbo? I'm going to do Columbo. So. What do we got here? An abandoned car, a lake of blood, and nobody. And no valuables are missing. So probably a mimic doing its work. Yes, I think that's obvious. The car was smoking when I arrived here. I think the victim was driving up this road and had to stop because the engine had an issue. The victim called roadside assistance while a mimic was hiding behind a bush. The thing was probably one of the big ones. There's a huge footprint in front of the car. She didn't have a chance. How old is the victim? 37 years old, according to her ID. Is this area known for mimic, mimic activity? No, not at all. But it seems like they're expanding their territory. I bet the fucker's still close. Probably somewhere in the woods digesting her. You're sent to take care of it? Yes, that's why I'm here. I'm tasked with finding and neutralizing it. I'll drive around the area and ask if someone has seen something suspicious. Sounds like a plan. I don't actually know. I'm intrigued by the idea that the authorities actually have knowledge of this, though. That it's becoming a more common thing. You have a map of the area on your laptop, right? Yes, I have a map. Sounds good. If you want, you can take a look at the crime scene yourself in case I missed anything. Will do. See you back at the station. Stay safe. Oh. And one more thing. A gap. Okay, to be entirely fair, generally refers to beat cops, not investigations of violent crimes. Hmm. 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 That was a bad joke. Bad joke, Ray. That was a worse bark, too. Why'd you try it again? Why did you try to get? Hmm. Yep. Hmm. Okay. My jokes aren't the best tonight, but they're my jokes. Count yourself lucky. <laughs> oh, hello. A few hours ago, I received an anonymous call from someone reporting an abandoned car with a lot of blood next to it. You know what that means. Investigate the crime scene. After that, drive around the area, use your map, talk to people, and ask if they see anything weird. If you encounter a mimic, neutralize it with your firearm. Don't get cornered. Mimics are highly trained predators. Highly trained? Good luck. Nathan. Hmm. I don't know where I am in reference to that. I need to find two points of reference first before I can really say anything. Is it a gas station? Gas station. Here we go. Okay. Beware of mimics. If you see anyone who's pretending, contact law enforcement immediately. Signs you're dealing with mimic. Unnaturally long limbs. Funny walk. Never blink. Sometimes flesh-colored skin. Sometimes flesh-colored skin. Survive a mimic encounter. Keep calm. Contact the police. Gain distance. Do not expose meat. Do, do not expose meat. Hey, chat. What do you think I'm exposing right now? Is that bad? Is that bad? Should, should we be worried? Here. I'll make sure I expose less meat. Oh, no. Ha, ha, ha. Don't get me. Right. So... Hmm. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, these are all... These look like real or like... Vegan Milky? Vegan Milky? I don't think Milky's ever vegan, sorry. Oh no, you know what? No, that's a discussion I hear within the vegan community. Whether something that is fully gained with consent can be vegan, aka human products. Some people say it's never vegan and it's still inherently wrong to eat anything animal related. Other people say it is vegan if there's no ethical quandaries. But also, <laughs> the first people also tend to say that honey is immoral to consume. 
because they don't know how bees work. I'm gonna pick up some of these vegan milkies, you know? Just uh, make sure I grab hold of those. Chat, y'all want some Powerade? Maybe some 37 different brands of bottled water made by companies who we should burn and keep No? Okay? No, got it. What can I do for you, sir? There was a mimic attack just down the road. Damn, that's bad for business. Do you know anything that could help me with the search? You can absolutely have a balls, Grana. I like balls too. I didn't know you like balls. I used to have a balls bag. It was called my ball sack. <laughs> I'm not making a joke, B-A-W-L-S, I had one of those. It was really cool, it was waterproof and it had a, like a drawstring on it and it was like, I haven't noticed anything weird so far. Everything is just as always. Yeah, fuck Nestle. They need to be tried in international court. Really? Nothing at all? No. Only thing I know is that you should be very careful. Nowadays, they're extremely good at pretending to be human. Right, so I love this idea. I saw it in Mandela Catalog, and I, I, I liked a lot of Mandela Catalog, and I'm seeing it here. The idea that a supernatural threat has become normalized to the extent that people are just like talking about it like it's, like it's acid rain. Like just, you know, stay safe. Yeah, you too. Like that, that is really intriguing. That's cool. I like that. Need to, need to see some more of that. I need to see people play with that. I need to see people write with that. And they're more dangerous than ever. People say they're evolving and learning from humans. Thanks, but that is information that is already known to us. Anyway, thanks. Oh, and one more thing. Can I get a six pack of balls, Garana? I don't see it in the case, but I think you can. <gasps> Wheat beer. Gross. Okay. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Does that look like it's just been going like, okay? And that looks like the name of it. Okay. I, I can't read it. It's it's weird. Apple chips. Fuck yes. Yeah. Um. My eyes. Hello. There's the motel. This little town. Ah, oh, the motel off the motel office. There may be someone in there. Indeed. My detective senses are tingling. You know Colombo's famous detective senses? I love his catchphrase. My detective senses. They're buzzing. Hello. May I help you, sir? I'm here because a mimic was active down the road. Do you have anything that could help me? A mimic, you say? Damn, I just hope I'll never meet one of these things. I myself haven't noticed anything weird. But there's a farm east from here. Maybe they can help you more than I do. You could also follow the road up north. There's an area that's used for camping. All right, thank you for your time. I'm keeping a closer eye on people. I'm keeping a closer... I wish I could turn the lights up. I like the atmosphere so far. You know what? Let's go to the farm. I think they're they're uh, breadcrumbing me. Ooh, that turning radius. Must be a Saturn. I know they're breadcrumbing me, but I, I you know, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Let's see how the game treats me. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm digging the vibes. Okay, so see, that's controversial. Um, I view that as more metaphor than literal. My interpretation is that there was a, I guess, mimic, a pretender that came down to humanity and took the form of a person of influence and influenced things. Oh, fuck my life. Some people have classified it as religious horror and therefore they have decided to hate it. I do not think it is religious horror. I think during the Mandela catalog, spiritual, religious, or highly abstract thought is discouraged when dealing with these pretenders because apparently they, they, use, they like to use them to prey on people and like influence their decisions. I think it, the first bit with the angel coming down to Joseph being, not being an angel, being corrupt, was actually just a metaphor referring 
to the practice of these things of influencing and infiltrating spirituality to make us more susceptible to their games. But, you know, that's me. It's an interpretation. It's not the actual literal text. May I help you, officer? Damn, you scared the crap out of me. Are you the owner of this farm? Yes, this is my property, sir. I'm here because we have reports of mimic activity in this area. Do you know anything that could help me out? Let me think for a second. Not really. I haven't noticed anything weird. But I also heard rumors about people seeing or hearing them in the woods. I personally don't fear them. I make sure to lock all doors and I keep my rifle close to me. Thank you for your time. If you notice something weird, make sure to forward that information to the police. Have a good night. Good night and stay safe, officer. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Um, I think it's metaphoric, but people can feel free to uh, disagree with me. My detective instincts are buzzing. Hmm. No missing tools. Okay. Oh, please. I'm playing a cop. Why would I care about a warrant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't resist. I can't resist. <laughs> hey, I'm just role-playing here, okay? If the game is intentionally trying to make me suspicious with all these, like, red herrings around me, that's really cool. Good job. Oh, dang. All right, look at that color of the, the dashboard here. Like, that sodium-light color. Anyone else miss that color being used in consumer products? Because I really do. It's a gorgeous color. I'm talking with with the bench seat and everything. Where the fuck am I? What's your deal? Got any spare change, officer? Sure, here, take this. Thank you so much. I'm here to investigate a mimic report. Do you have anything to help me out? A mimic? Oh, that's bad. Really bad. I hear screams sometimes. At night. You see this road going up there? I think there's a house. And? The screams were coming from there. I think. You should take a look. I guess I'll have to. Thanks, and make sure to stay out of trouble. I will, officer. How good have they gotten at mimicking is the question. But yeah, one of those uh, steel body, uh, like a GMC or something, right? Um, bench seats, they got the side panels, nice solid bumpers. They're not like exactly super highway safe vehicles. They can't go super fast, but you know what? For getting around town, I, I, just, I just want one really bad. Mm. Ooh, yeah, LA 90 Chevy. I saw someone do a restoration and then, and then sell it on a... Huh. Lights through the woods. They they use like the um the 60s, 70s color palette, like you know, the the cream, goldenrod, burnt orange, and chocolate. And the whole thing, it was just absolutely gorgeous. And God, they were selling it for like 200 k which I can't really blame them for. But an Escalade? I don't care if a car or a truck is fashionable, right? I don't care about fashion. I want utility. I want comfort, and I want dependability. Uh, hello? One more thing. One more thing. Hello? Someone is screaming. I should investigate. I don't like this. That sounds like a mimic. Get you, I'm scared, I know it. So anyways, I started blasting. You know I keep that 5-7 ready. What are you doing? Slice the pie, Ray. Don't cut that corner. That's sounding less human over time.
Ah. Oh no, don't go quiet now. There you are. I hear you. Come on. Come on. Where the fuck are you? Where are you? Got you. You neutralized the mimic. Oh, I thought it was going to be a little more aggressive. All right. I think I actually accidentally kind of just shortcut that by getting lost. Well, that was mimic search.